Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys have a great Saturday. And thank you guys for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. Today on the channel we're looking at the next CGI Netflix He-Man and the Masters of the Universe figure. And that of Mosquita Rhea. We're comparing her. There she is in the packaging. Unfortunately I do not have a loose version of her. Uh, because pretty much uh, she was an online purchase. And I could not find her in retail. We'll also be comparing her to her male counterpart. Uh, Mesquitor. So once again, this is not the first time this has happened that this particular He-Man show has did a gender swap on a particular figure. And here she is in the packaging. Of course, you have her glamour shot in front of the packaging right there. The He-Man, the Master of the Universe logo in front of the packaging. Uh, this own version of Grayskull. And I've done a review on this particular Grayskull on my channel, guys, if you want to go back and check it out. There it is. The, the figure herself with her, her pink uh, see-through or, you know, clear-through uh, wings. Her blood attack right there. There it is right there. Her name, Mosquiteria. Once again, these figures are pretty much almost the same height as of the Origins figures. You know, they stand about five inches tall. A little bit, maybe almost five and a half inches. They also have kept that... That vintage uh, spring-loaded action, if you remember back in the day, from the 80s line. There you go. Flip around to the back of the figure. Show her glamour shot of the figure right there. And her power tack. Once again, it's spring-loaded. So when you pull like back, and it springs forward and shoots out that blood uh, projectile right there. Of course, the other, some of the other figures in this line. And I have done review for Skeletor. And I'll be doing one pretty soon of Triclops. Right there. There you go. Flip it back around. Now, real quick, guys. I went ahead and I put, if you remember my Vicron review... I was not able to put his third outfit together real fast. And I've done that today. Give you guys a, a better look at what he looked like in his third outfit right there. Because if you remember in that review, I did I showed him off in his gladiator outfit and his space outfit. But now I have him in his third like um, tank outfit, but there he is. You can move the guns, you know, up and down, if you wish. These blasters. You can move the mouth up and down, if you wish. You show them in, inside, right there. His gun. His, his weapon right here, his, his bazooka or his blaster. I was, I, hope, I was hoping that his mouth would open up, but it does not. But there you go. I'm going to... You know, follow up on this that review because I felt kind of bad that I was unable to uh, show him off in his third outfit. But there he is. Now I can. I'm gonna do it really quick. But I still think that his space outfit uh, is um, is my best, is my favorite out of the three outfits. And I'm I'm curious about what you think. You know, if you have this particular figure, if you know what outfit you like from him. But yeah, I just want to give you a quick follow-up on him. Showing off his third outfit. But there you go. This also, this also his blaster right here does can go up and down, stuff like that. But there you go. All right. Alright, get a good old Vicron out of the way. We'll go head back to Mosquito Rhea. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> but there she is. There we go. Now, of course, like, like I said, this is not the first time we got a gender swap on a figure on this particular show. And remember, from these reviews on this CGI line, take what you know about He-Man and just toss it out somewhat, okay? Alright, just go in. If you want to watch the show, it's on Netflix. It's got about three seasons if you wish to watch it and stuff like that. It's not, you know, like, there's like ten episodes, 
I think, per season. They're very quick and, you know, fast. Um, just go in it with a fresh pair of eyes and stuff like that, and fresh pair of thoughts. But, like I said, like, this is not the first time. Of course, you know, back in, you know, in Wave 1, or one of my, one of my early reviews, we got the uh, Ram Mam figure. Of course, you know, she's the female, the female version of Ram Man right there. So there's like, so this is not the first time, like I said, of them changing uh, gender on a particular figure. But there you go. But here she is. And I mean, it's okay. It's, it, you know, the figure's all right. But the one thing I, I absolutely don't like on this figure um, is the fact that they removed, you know, Mosquito. And I have Mosquito here. I've got his Origins figure right here. Let's get him out here. Of course, uh, Mosquito right now um, is only in Origins right now. I don't think, of, as of filming, they have, in, you know, have, um, put out a Mosquito for Masterverse Revelations. Maybe pretty soon. I'm... I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure they will. This is a matter of time. But there is Mosquito right there. Next to his female version on the show right there. You know, where I guess the female version has the wings. But the one thing that, you know, M Mosquito has always been known for and has been loved from collectors is his pump, his blood pumping action. And I have a him right here in Origins. His, his blood feature. You know, fortunately, uh, she does not have that feature, and that's something I wish they would have di given us, you know, on the figure. So they gave her th these wings right here. But there you go. And I wish they would have done that. I wish they would have given us some sort of, like, action call, something that would have given us that type of feature on her, stuff like that. Also, you notice in these particular figures on the CGI line... In this particular art, you know, um, CGI line, there's no articulation. You can't bend at the, you know, it's pretty much giving you the like that same look, somewhat of the classic He-Man uh, 80s line, where it's just, you know, there's no articulation. You can just move at the legs, you know, and you can you can bend somewhat at the elbows. And you can maybe twist right here in the, in the hands, but that's pretty pretty much it. Uh, these she stands roughly about the same height as the Evil Inn. Um, from this particular uh, line, uh, but the, the head's not removable. Okay, I can't remove that the helmet and see her face. But there you go. There she is, right there, and there's good old uh, mosquito. And also another thing about this. Mosquitoria, she's not part of the horde. There is no horde yet on this show, on this particular show. And I, like I said in previous reviews, I think the show's done. I think the toy line's done. Um, it was one of those one and done things. You know, I, I was very lucky to find these figures online when I did. Because once they, they sold out, uh, they were pretty much not going to make more. In fact, there was supposed to be like a Moss Man deluxe uh, version of in this particular show that got canceled at the last minute I had it uh, pre-ordered on Big Bag Toy Store and they canceled the order because there was just no need it, it, there was nobody wanted it I mean but there you go fortunately you know, but like I said in other reviews it's not a bad show you know if you want to watch something new especially with the kids it's more it's more targeted for the kids than you know the hardcore uh, He-Man collectors and stuff like that. But if you have been collecting He-Man for a long time, and I'm pretty sure, like, you can find these all these figures dirt cheap now. I'm like, you probably find them like under five bucks. And you know, the, and the line's not that big. I mean, the CGI line is not that big as far as single carded figures. Um, but one thing you know they've done, which unfortunately Revelations hasn't done yet, is they've given us a variety of figures. And vehicles and their own version of, of Grayskull. Where right now, as filming, I mean, I mean, it could change. And I've said this before, and I know I'm like a broken record. But right now, I cannot say that for a Masterverse. Masterverse is amazing with their figures. But as of right now, unless something changes, you know, 
um, would be amazing. They have not given us any vehicles. They have not given us any play sets yet. So that's the one thing about this show that they have done. They've given us like a variety of, of figures and and vehicles and and a playset as well. So this is a great line to start collecting with the kids if you even want to do that. You know, get them involved in He-Man and stuff like that. But there you go. There's a look at Mosquito Rita right there. I hope I'm saying her name right again. But there she is. And like I said, I'm I'm like you can probably find these guys dirt cheap, like really cheap. And like I said, there's not like it's not a massive like wave, you know, what uh collecting collecting these guys stuff like that. But there you go. There's a look at her right there. Of course, we're bringing it back to my, my one of my favorite figures, coolest figures right there of Mosquito, her male counterpart. I mean, yeah, I always say like this version right here of He-Man is from another universe. And, you know, as we know, we we dove into you know, what we call the the uh, multiverse on origin and stuff like that. And let's just say this particular He-Man is part of a a, 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 a different universe where Mosquito is, is a woman and Ram Man is a woman and stuff like that. But it's pretty cool. But there she is. Real fast, one more time. Alright. Alright guys, I'd like to take the time out now to thank my subscribers. If you made it this far in the channel or the video, Please subscribe, guys. I love talking with you guys. All things Master Universe through CGI, through Origins, and Masterverse. Hit that like button, guys. That thumbs up button, guys. And I appreciate that. And hit that notification bell when you know when I upload new videos. And tomorrow we'll be going back to the Revelation line to Wave 5. And it'll be pretty cool because we'll be looking at all the figures. And some of the figures of Wave 5 of the Revelation is the CGI line. The CGI did... Uh, dip its toe or you know it into the masterverse wave with the he-man and skeletor we'll take a look at that with zodak and uh catra share this video guys who has a passion and a love for collecting he-man figures through cgi through uh origins and masterverse so guys hope you guys have a great saturday and a great weekend and i'll see you guys on sunday take care guys